Hello, welcome to today's strength workout where we're going to focus on exercises to help you live your life best. So we're going to work on lifting movements, safe lifting movements to help you picking up washing, groceries, children, push chairs, bikes, luggage, whatever it is that you need to do in your day to day life. We are going to talk about how to connect to the pelvic floor and how to support the pelvic floor throughout the workout, but this isn't a pelvic floor workout designed specifically if you have issues with incontinence. If you do have issues with incontinence, you haven't figured out how to lift, how to exercise without having those issues or prolapse issues or you're recovering from surgery, have a look back at one of my earlier videos, have a look at something specific for pelvic floor, see a pelvic floor physio or contact me if you have any questions and I will help you out and have a chat with you. So those of you who don't know me, my name is Amy. I am a women's health um, fitness professional. I specialize in pre and postnatal products recovery, hysterectomy recovery, anything that helps women get back into living life after having some kind of gynecological or um, pregnancy related pelvic floor and core issue. So that's me. Let's get into the workout. You are going to need some weights. Use weights that are going to challenge you, but make sure that you can still breathe through the workout. Have a towel ready, have a water bottle ready. We're going to get into it with a warm up. I've got my timer. Let's get going. 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. So we're going over that way, over that way. We'll start just warming up the body. It is a full body workout today. Really reach, really reach. And we're going to take about 30 minutes to get through this. So feel the stretch as it travels down the body. Hips involved, push the hips out. Okay, our next one, we're gonna go down. It's gonna open up the lower back a little bit. And we're gonna get into some hip mobility. So bending the knee, stretching to the side, bend the knee, stretch to the side. Now, you can stay here. Or what I like to do is turn the palms facing up and then reach in the direction of that bent leg. And then reach and you can go low you can go high you can just go across i like to go across so open up the lower back the lower you go the more you're going to feel that stretch in the lower back drive the hips back and then hands forward like you're trying to put something down on the table but your feet are glued to the floor. Okay. Now turning, have your right foot back, left foot forward. With your left hand, I want you to keep looking at your fingers, reach round, tap the outside of your right leg, and then bring your arm up in front of you about eye level, rotating round, point towards the ceiling, keep looking at your fingers. That's it. And you stretch through the front of the body, through that rotational line. A bit through the back, opening up the chest. Swapping sides. So right hand now, rotating round. Tap the outside of the right, <coughs> the left leg, and then bring the hand up in front of you. Rotate round, point towards the ceiling. 
keep looking at the fingers and then back. So go as far as you can go while still being able to see your fingers. And that back heel can be on or off the floor, whatever feels best for you, for your balance. So our next warm up, we're starting to get into a little bit more strength work. I want you to lunge forward and then rotate towards that front leg. And then lunge back, lunge forward, rotate. This is a great way if you've got space to do this as a walking exercise. You can lunge forward, rotate, and then Step back, lunge forward, rotate. When we haven't got that much space, we just do what we do. Go as close to the floor as you can. It might be that just that stepping forward, pushing the hips forward is enough, and that's fine. That's all, that's all you can do. I like to add that little bit of rotation. So grab a weight and get into our workout. Goblet squat is first. If it's too much, just do body weight. So you're gonna push the bum back, sit in a chair, and then boom. So imagine you're getting in and out of a chair, holding someone, baby or something. And I want you to, to note the difference. So this is your sitting in a chair move. Your bum goes back, you sit down, drive up. Yeah? Our next move is the deadlift. This is our picking up off the floor move. The next one, imagine you're picking up a washing basket or anything off the floor really. You are, imagine you're just picking up that weight off the floor. You're going to push the bum back. You're going to grab the weight and then inhale, exhale, stand up. It's all about pushing the bum back, pushing the bum forward. You bend your knees to reach the ground. As you reach the item that you're picking up. Remember that exhale is going to support the body, support the core, support the pelvic floor, take that pressure off because you're releasing it out the top. If you're going, try it. Can you feel downward pressure? That's why we exhale. Grab a um, something to lean against, or one hand on the thigh. I'm going to have a bent over row. Make sure to pull up. Now I want to do one side only, just to make sure that you've got that support and you're not rounding through. So keep the shoulders back, and then like sort of split stance if I'm leaning against my leg. And we're just working those back muscles that can get a bit pulled, a bit lengthened if I'm working from the perspective of motherhood. I have a two-year-old and I'm always looking down, either looking down at her, looking down as I pick up toys and the shoulders can end up coming forward. So we're working on that movement. So swapping sides, leaning on the other thigh. Push the bum back, okay? And we're gonna go pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you've got the hang of it, 
and you feel like you can handle doing this without leaning on something, then you're doing both sides and you feel focused on squeezing those shoulder blades together. Is a full body workout today. Make sure we've got every little bit. So, so grab your other dumbbell. We're doing bicep curls, and I want you to place your arms by your side, elbows glued to your side, palms facing forward. Ground your feet, inhale, exhale, bring it up. And if you've got light weights, if you haven't got any heavier weights, go faster and then slow down. Okay? And that eccentric movement, that lengthening, is just going to help have more time under tension and will still give you a good workout. So our next one, you're going to hold your weights close to your chest, which is going to, be going to do a lunge. I'm going to do a reverse lunge. Three, two, one. So I'm going to have my kettlebell again. I'm going to hold it in close to my chest. Imagine you are getting down on the floor to change baby maybe. You step back go down, you would pop baby on the floor then, then I think you pick baby up and you <sighs> exhale to get up, cool? And you'd be holding bub close to your chest. Let's swap sides. So that front foot, super close to the floor. to the floor if it's too much just go as low as you can go but if you want to practice that getting up off the floor with a weight so practice with the weight you probably use then get that heavier weight grab your um i'm going to use one weight for this whatever you want hold it close to your chest exhale Press out. So this one, tummy's going in. As you push out, because you don't, you want to stay like this. Upright. You don't want to be leaning back. That's going to put way too much pressure on things. It's probably put you back out. two weights next keep those feet grounded just going to help stabilize the body so let's grab your second weight shoulders away from the ears relax them going up to the side yeah so we're grounding the feet stabilize the body prepares the body helps you to get more out of your workout And it kind of pre-tensions the pelvic floor, pre-prepares, it prepares the pelvic floor. I'm going to pre-prepare. It tells it, right, I'm going to be under some pressure here. Let's prepare for it. Now I know you're probably thinking, what is this exercise for? You're probably going to be having your arm out here at some point, holding, baby holding things. Might as well strengthen those shoulders. Okay. Um, I'm going to have one weight. We're doing a lateral lunge. I'm going to tap the floor and then I'm going to bring it to your chest. So tap. Picking 
up stuff off the floor, picking up socks, picking up toys. <sighs> Bring it close to your chest. All unconscious work for the core on the pelvic floor. Keep your form as best as you can manage it. And if you can't reach the floor, lean on the knee. Yeah? Okay, now I'm dropping the weight. We're going to step, so you're in a little clock face. You're going to step to four o'clock. You're going to reach out, put your weight in the direction of that knee, and then step back a little. Step to eight o'clock, reach out. Okay, let's go. Make sure you've got enough space around you. Working the core and that reach. Around that foot, reach. Around that foot, reach. Good. We're going back into our squat with our weights. This time though, I'm going to bring it overhead, so squat, and then, yeah, overhead. If you've got dumbbells, have them out to the side. Use your legs to drive it up, and again, making sure that you go down, and then you drive up, but you're not leaning back, you're not pushing the bum back, keep the bum tucked under. Yeah, putting something on the high shelf, yeah? Come back from your holidays, your suitcase is going up on the shelf. Playing with child, and you're going, whee! See that ad with the man and the granddaughter and the Christmas tree? That kind of move. Okay, so now, going back to our deadlift, push back, but this time, we're gonna go, up to our chest and then stand up so we're rowing down tap the floor i need my dumbbells for this and up to the chest so tap row tap again picking something off the floor your washing basket which isn't at ground level of course it's up here but you're going standing up as you stand up. Good. Keeping those dumbbells. Big breath in and out. Relax everything for a second. We're going to do a curl. Curl. And then press. You can have your weights, hands facing each other if that helps mobility wise. Again, picking up something, pressing it overhead. You do it more than you think. Try not to swing. <sighs> Exhale as you lift. So <sighs> control that down movement. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. If it's too heavy, bend the knees. <sighs> Pop it up. Exhale, our minds just tuck the hips under a bit. Okay, lean against something if you can, otherwise, just stay in one place. Glue your left foot to the floor. Imagine the king's come to visit. Curtsy, and then kick the person to the side. I don't know. We're doing curtsy, and then we're abducting the left, 
working on our booty. Booty time. <clears throat> Strong booty supports the back, supports the pelvic floor. Breathing through, happy thoughts. Try and keep the body upright. Sit. Okay, super glue your right foot to the floor. Again, body upright. So when you abduct, you're not doing that. You're keeping that angle. Yeah? Curtsy. Here we go, out to the side. Curtsy, out to the side. Need your weight again next. We're going to do our weighted lunge. This time we're going to go forward. Five seconds. <coughs> okay. Down. Yeah. So we did our backwards lunge. Now we're going forwards. So step forward, tap the knee to the floor. And then, yeah, step forward, tap knee to the floor. This foot really needs to be grounded. This leg needs to be on, because that's the leg that's pushing you back up to standing. Again, if you can't reach the floor, just go as low as you can. move we are lying down and we're getting back up again so if you ever need to lie down you need to get off the floor this is the exercise for you so get down however you can full and then chest the floor and then get up however you can if you want to jump it Stepping it is fine. Get that press up, walk up, stand up, so squat to the floor, down, all the way. Standing up. Remember to breathe, yeah? Good news is, after this one, Get one more time to lie down. We're going into a side plank. It's a core exercise. It's not going to put too much pressure. Let's go on the knees to start with. So there, engage the shoulder. If you feel good there, then you can straighten the arm. You can go straight legs. spread my legs if you need to rest that lower leg good swapping sides two more exercises of this one and one more we're going to do an elevated glute bridge after this Spread the feet out, pop yourself up, spread the hand. If 
the wrist is hurting, that's when elbows are good. Takes that pressure off. Okay, I'm going to have my feet up on this. If you haven't got anything to raise your feet on, use your weights, have your weights over your lap. We can have both. Lying on the floor. Inhale on the floor. Exhale. Drive the hips up, straight line from your shoulders all the way to your knee, and then back down. Great exercise for your bum and the back of the thighs. And your core. Try not to rest too long on the floor. Just tap the floor lightly. Good. Okay. So we're heading into our stretches now. Point to lie on your back. Hook your right knee to your chest. Straighten out your left leg. And now take that right leg across the body. Bring it to the floor on the left hand side. Rotating out the waist. Big breath in. Keep both shoulders on the floor. Use your left hand. Rest on that leg. Guide it to the floor. It's a good full body stretch, opening up the chest, especially if your hand is pointing north of the body. Relax the jaw, relax the whole body. Okay, on the next exhale, I want you to bring that leg back to the centre, hug it to your chest, hug your left knee to your chest, straighten out the right leg, and then taking the right hand, bring that leg across the body, down towards the floor, keep both shoulders on the floor, rotating at the waist, big breath in, as you breathe out, see if you can get that leg a little bit closer to the floor. Relax the jaw, relax the face, relax the body. Okay, let's bring that back. Let's do a glute stretch, so cross the right leg over, place the right foot on the left thigh, Grab behind the left thigh, bring everything towards you. Good. Relax the jaw, relax the face, relax the shoulders, relax the core, relax the pelvic floor. And as you breathe out, see if you can bring your foot closer to your face. Do a stretch in the back of the thigh and in the bum on that right side. Swap sides. So the right, left foot now resting on the right thigh. Grab behind the right thigh. Pull it towards your face. Keep the left knee as far away from your face as possible. A bit more of a stretch.
straighten out. Keep rolling over. And all fours. And then feet together, knees apart. Four together, whatever works for you. Sit on the heels. Arms out in front, head to the floor. Big breath in and out, relaxing the body. This is great for relaxing the core. Opening up the back, relaxing the pelvic floor. Relax the tummy. Let it hang. Okay, sitting up, that brings us to the end of our workout, so let me know what you think. Any questions, any feedback, please do comment below, and if you want to see more, please let me know what you'd like to see, and like and subscribe, and tick the bell so you get notifications of when I upload more videos. Thank you very much, see you next time.